Hi everyone, my name is Elisa. Welcome back to my channel. When we first moved to Qatar, the impression that we got from a lot of people was that this is one expensive place to live in. And while that can actually be quite true to a certain extent, there are actually a lot of free things that you can do with your family here that won't break the bank. So today I am going to share with you 12 free things to do in Qatar along with our favorite spots. Number one, beaches. There are so many open beaches to choose from. Most are free, but they like facilities. When it comes to free ones, we recommend Azerbaijani Beach and Fuwarit Beach. But if you're after some facilities, I recommend the Public Beach as well as the Municipality Family Beach at Awakra. They both have facilities and the latter also has three fantastic playgrounds to choose from. Number two, Cornish. The Doha Cornish is a waterfront promenade extending for seven kilometers along the Doha Bay. Here, there are a multitude of places to pick from and enjoy. You can bring the kids bikes or scooters, as well as everything you might need for a picnic. Something that we learn here is that it is super common to bring along your own table and chairs to public places. Our favorite place to stop here is Al Dafna Park. The kids love the open space and the paths by the water, as well as racing down the hill. Our tip, make sure to grab a cup of Karak from Puri and Karak at Sheraton Park and sit down at one of the many benches at Al Dafna Park. Number three, parks. Qatar has invested a lot of money in parks in recent years, so you're really spoiled for choice here. Aspire Park, Oxygen Park, Albida Park, and more. Our personal favorite though is Mia Park or MIA Park. They're all free and they all have bathroom facilities and car parking areas. If you do feel like traveling out though, make sure to check out the Albaid Park in Alcor. The water features in this park really make it stand out. Do make sure to bring some food to feed the local ducks. Number four, museums. If you haven't yet visited all Qatar museums, general admission tickets are actually free of charge for residents of Qatar, as well for all children under 16. I think museums are a fantastic place to visit during the hotter months, and being free to residents means that you can break up your visit into smaller ones to accommodate for the little ones. Number five, Subara Ruins and Port. This is Qatar's largest UNESCO World Heritage Site, located 100 kilometers from Doha. Al Subara was a thriving pearl fishing and trading port, and it is one of the best preserved examples of an 18th and 19th century Gulf merchant towns. Here, you can also enter the Al Subara Fort, which was built in 1938, and you can check out the exhibit where you can learn more about the site its history, environment, and the preservation work being carried out. If you can though, make sure to combine the visit to the National Museum of Qatar close to this outing, as there's actually an exhibit on the Al Subara ruins here. Number six, Lucille Marina. This is another beautiful promenade you cannot miss. It makes for a fantastic outing for families and singles alike. There are three and a half kilometers of walking paths dotted with water fountains, which are inviting for the children to splash in. There are bathroom facilities and lots of parking. It also has a huge variety of food trucks to choose from. To me, the highlight though, is the nighttime view from its mostly new built skyline. Make sure to visit in the evening for a great atmosphere. Number seven, shopping malls. This might actually make for a funny free option as it can be easy to spend lots of money here. However, they truly are really handy places to visit during the hotter months. They are free to enter and you can walk around and window shop all you like. They also have a grocery store so you can get an affordable lunch or snack without having to spend big at a cafe. Many have free Wi-Fi as well, as well as bathroom facilities and food courts where you can hang out. Number eight, Katara Cultural Village. Family friendly and full of life with lots to explore. It houses many shops, a huge variety of restaurants and cafes, the amphitheater, halls and galleries, gardens, a planetarium, 
Qatar is Golden Masjid and the Masjid of Qatar. Also, check out their events calendar as there is often always something going on from concerts to festivals. Number 9. Sukwaki This iconic charm and marketplace dates back at least 100 years and it features traditional Qatari architecture. Here you're going to find a big variety of items for sale from wares to traditional garments, spices, crafts, souvenirs and much much more. There are also many restaurants and shisha lounges to choose from. It usually hosts a variety of art galleries, events and concerts. And of course, don't miss the art installations throughout. The best part though, is simply to wander through the alleyways, which won't cost you a thing. I'll link my video on things to see near Sukwakif so that you can make the most out of your visit here. Number 10, Sukawakra. A lovely marketplace directly placed on the waterfront. Suka Wakra resembles all Qatari homes and villages, and the shops are placed within each building with beautiful courtyards and alleyways throughout. There's cafes and restaurants here, but you can also bring your own picnic and sit on one of the many benches by the sea. Number 11. Get out of Doha. For the more adventurous, make sure to check out my video on 11 things to do outside of Doha. They are all free options and definitely worth visiting. And lastly, number 12. Sunsets. Qatar has some magnificent sunsets and it's worth picking the perfect spot to watch the evening roll in. Our favourite spot in the city is MIA Park. Head to the end of the park and watch the city light up as the sun goes down. So I really hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you have any more free things to do in Qatar, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button now. I'll see you on the next one.